tell you what, this was bloody hard work. Bloody hard work. Terrible, 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 insipid display from England yet again. But somehow we've got away with it. It was probably the worst performance we've had in this tournament, considering... How, and that's saying something. How Slovakia created chances in that first half. Oh, it's all boiling over here between Tony and some staff and Rice. And I don't know what's going on here. Rice, ooh, Rice is not happy with something. Yeah, tempers are flaring here. Tempers are definitely flaring at the end of this game. But, um, yeah, I think we got we got to be very, very relieved that we completely got away with it today. Literally, we didn't look like scoring for the whole 90 minutes and it took an absolute worldie from Bellingham in the 95th minute to get us extra time. But once we got to extra time, I felt like the team calmed down a bit and we managed to uh, obviously get that second goal, get in the lead and then see the game out. But was a very, very bad performance. Oh, it was a manager pushing Rice. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> manager. Oh, just Rice a bit of handbags. Yeah, but it, look. I think it's a very similar conversation we're going to be having after this game that we've had the whole tournament. Yeah. In terms of, yes, we're through. Yes, we're in the quarterfinals. But we're not going to get very far playing like that, especially if we come up against very good teams in Switzerland. If we play like that against Switzerland... We're done. Switzerland are going to beat us. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, Slovakia at times, in those opening 20 minutes, were giving us real, real torrid times, particularly down our right-hand side, down their left. You know, Carl Walker um, was in no man's land a couple of times where Haraslin was really finding the better of him and getting the better of him. And... That's where the goal um, did ultimately come from. And we went 1-0 down. We were deservedly 1-0 down. And you're thinking throughout this game, up until that Bellingham moment, we were 100% deserved to lose. And Slovakia were the teams that deserved to go through. And let's be real, Slovakia weren't great in this game. I thought for the first 20, 25 minutes, they performed really well. But apart from that, they didn't do anything in the game. It was just um, two poor sides, I felt, going at each other for the majority of the game. They offered very little after taking the lead. Now, that's the truth. They didn't really hurt England. They weren't really interested in going forward. It seems as though, as though as soon as they took the lead, that was it for them. They didn't really weren't interested in trying to get uh, hurt England on the counter attack. Either they weren't interested or they just weren't able to. Um, but you've got to feel bad for them, though, don't you? You've got to feel bad because they did play well in those opening 20 minutes. And those they opening... Defended well. They defended well. And those opening 20 minutes was better than what England produced over the whole game. Well, rally is, um, for the whole game, England never looked like scoring. Uh, Bellingham, his goal was our first shot on target. The only other chance what we had... What a goal. The only other chance we had for in, throughout the game was probably that Kane header, which was, uh, you know, uh, from a set piece. We created absolutely nothing from open play. The two goals we got from both from set pieces, mm -hmm. long throw and a free kick that fell to Eze on the edge of the area, was a bit of a fell to Tony, who headed it into Kane's path, who scored. From open play, we were a shambles. We absolutely offered absolutely nothing. We created zero chances. The balance again was wrong. And yes, we got through. Yes, we're into the next round, and that's all great. But this performance, these performances aren't going away. We all said after the groups, maybe, you know, the group, you know, group football, you just got to get the results. It doesn't really matter how you perform. And I guess, it, again, doesn't really matter how, you, matter how you perform as long as you get through. But the way we're playing, we're just we're, we're not going to win this tournament. That's yeah. the reality. And look, when, when we come up against a good team, we're going to be found out if we keep going on like this. And the tactics deployed by Southgate, well, I mean, I say tactics, what tactics are there? What are the tactics? It was Stones to Gwehi, Stones to Gwehi, Stones to Gwehi, punt it up the field. Gonna that's no all. Gwehi that's in the next round? No Gwehi in the next round. But that's, that's all we had for pretty much the whole game. That's all we tried to do. And it was the most frustrating thing because you've got players that can get it on the deck, play the ball, play good football, nice incisive passing. You've got some of the best talent in the Premier League um, on show, Phil Foden, player of the season and Bakayo Saka star over the past couple of years Harry Kane best uh, striker in the world Drew Bellingham star in Real Madrid's uh, Champions League winning team this season and we're just playing this awful brand of football and we're not trying to play football and that's the most frustrating thing about it because if we were to go out there and try and play football we could out football and play any team off the park that's yeah. the reality yeah and Southgate has to take responsibility for that how we are on the ball there's absolutely no sort of um, um, no, no evidence that there's any team cohesion and there's no pattern to play I understand when it's international football you get less time with the players so it's harder to implement those kind of things but you just see what Julian Nagelsmann is able to do with, mm. with Germany, it's just another level he's just another level of coach and if he had that level of coach of England 
we would be another level. I think that's clear. And you look at it, all the um, all the players here, right, that are playing for England, every single one has come from a better manager or is going back to a better manager after the Euros. They must be thinking like, this is the national team, man. <laughs> this is supposed to be the highest level. And we and we got Southgate as a manager. This guy, this has to be his last tournament. I mean, if it was up to me, I, I would have sacked him during the tournament, man. I really would. Like, I don't see what, what we can achieve with, with Southgate as our manager playing like this. It's just, it's just, there's nothing we can achieve. And I guarantee you we're going to come up, up against Switzerland. And if we play that exact same way, we're going to get found out and we're going to get beat. This Switzerland team are absolutely no joke. They're no joke whatsoever. They played really well in the group stages. They played Germany um, a really good game, potentially should have won that game. They played Italy off the park completely yesterday. Italy had no answers to what Switzerland could throw at them. So if, if we do the exact same thing and take that game for granted like we took today for granted and we've taken the whole tournament for granted we will be going out in the next round Southgate has got some big decisions to make well what he plays and, and what team he picks because if he picks the same team yet again and we put in the same performance then he's only going to have, have himself to blame when we go out because mm. that's what's going to happen because this team has not, not got the right balance it's not um, it, the way he's got it set up is not going to get us playing the football that we need to play to win this tournament it's ridiculous so for me as much as I'm delighted we went through and it's a great moment, that Bellingham moment, that'll be iconic. Um, we're only setting us up for, for for disappointment in the next round. Yeah, it's all well and good getting that last minute equaliser. Stunning, stunning, stunning goal. Potentially goal of the tournament from Drew Bellingham and Harry Kane in extra time. But essentially, it feels like it's just papering over cracks, really, because it was a shocking and shambolic display um, for... I would say probably 95% of that game, uh, which is the reality. So there you have it. England have gone through. They set themselves up a tie against Switzerland, against a very good Switzerland side in the quarterfinals. Thank you, everyone on TikTok. Thank you, everyone on YouTube for joining us today. And we'll see you on On The Ball tomorrow for Belgium against France. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today.